So, I faked you guys out last week, but trust me, I am not faking you out this week. This is wrap-up week for this Shipwreck Saturday playthrough, folks. And first things first, oh my goodness, I don't even, oh my berries, must have been berries. First things first, gotta make sure I get these coral nubbins planted, so let's do that. And seeing that little muscle spot in this lobster den here uh, just tells me that I should tell you what we are going to be looking to do today. Um, really going to just be chilling for the most part. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff that I was going to do in our last playthrough that unfortunately we just weren't able to do because uh, Solar Don't Starve for whatever reason. Loves to just bloody break. So we're gonna be making muzzle beds. We're gonna be maybe even going after wopsters if you don't even know how to do that. Yep, it's just gonna be almost very guide-like today, but we're still gonna be accomplishing quite a lot. But of course, before we can make our own muscle beds, we need to make muscle sticks, and they are very, very easy to make, especially if you've gone about uh, actually transplanting some seaweed, which we did many, many, many episodes ago, and probably will be doing again. But these are super easy to use. After, of course, I make more of them. How easy? A simple click, folks. Plant the stick, and in like four to five days, you should have the maximum amount of mussels ready to be harvested so easy peasy lemon squeezy and mussels um not not bad i think fish farms are definitely the better option if i'm honest but i've never done this before so i would like to show it off and as you can see though there are there are a lot of places to get mussels from so that is their benefit at the end of the day their numbers then of course we can use our trawl nets to capture several live jellyfish and what is that for well combine oh goodness me combine it with a get the heck over here you son of a gun are you gonna piss off you're gonna piss off okay combine it with a uh thingamadoog these palm leaves and of course empty bottles and boo you're gonna come get me okay and then combine it like this and then you get yourself traps everybody sea traps and there's really only one use for sea traps lobsters well i'll have to come back come nightfall and dusk because they're not going to be outside right now but super oh that was a terrible placement super easy to take care of uh lobsters this is a terrible placement okay Place it a little, there we go, that should be okay. So place uh, the sea trap by a lobster den, and then they'll just be roaming around as soon as they go underneath it, it will latch onto them and you got yourself some lobster. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And as far as lobster goes, well, uh, if you've been paying attention to some of the Don't Starve recipes that we have with lobsters, this is where they originated from. So lobster bisque, lobster dinner, all that good stuff. Other than that, not too much going for them, if I'm honest. But as you can see, though, if you really, really wanted to focus, that's pretty bad. If you really did want to focus on um, the seafaring aspect of Shipwrecked, all the sea stuff, it's really easy. <laughs> it's really, really easy. Another mob that people always seem to ask me about, and they usually are asking if it's worth it. And uh, here's the quick answer. No. No, dogfish are definitely not worth it. Not only are they kind of really annoying to get, unless, of course, you have a spear gun, then it's really, really easy. Um, even a spear gun with a normal spear is enough to one-shot a dogfish. Dogfish do not respawn, so they are a limited resource. That said, they're all over the dang place, so I guess you got that one, but they don't really go in anything super special. Oh, look, everybody. But this is, uh, this is how you get lobsters, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. Uh-oh. I hear crocodiles. dogs. But that's how you get, uh, that's how you get lobsters, folks. That's also how you get dogfish. And let me finish what I was saying about dogfish. Yeah, they don't, um, they don't do much. You can murder them into, uh, fish steak or cook them in the fish steak, which is great. But other than that, yeah, not really worth your time. Much better options. That being fish farms for the most part. But hello, crocodogs. Time for you to get elephant cacti to death. You know, as I almost got shot and then poisoned, I was thinking to myself, what if elephant cacti was in Don't Starve Together? How interesting would that actually- Ow! Oh, that actually hit me. That was far away. How interesting would that actually be? I don't know. I'm trying to think of who you would use it on. It's an interesting what-if question for sure. 
maybe a what if question that we could answer. Oh, of course, right as I was going to go into yet another thing that people ask me about, guess who's showing up again? Didn't we just kill him last episode too? Oh, I was looking for you, by the way, Bioluminescence. There's a couple things that I still want to talk about, and Bioluminescence is uh, definitely going to be one of them. So boom, 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 boom. Good, 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 good. All right, let's take care of the bloody seal again and then get on with the show. Well, at least this time it's gonna be a little different. I'll be fighting him at night for the most part, but apart from that, yeah, it's SEAL, everybody. By now, we should absolutely know how to bloody kill the SEAL NATO. <laughs> I think, oh, I've killed him more in this series than I did when I was making this guy, for Pete's sake. Hello, SEAL, time to die again. Careful, though, if he does happen to show up in monsoon season on you, if you... Oh my gosh, this is where I killed him last time. I didn't even pick up anything. <laughs> didn't even pick up anything. Oh, the magic seal. I should at least tell you guys how that works. Um, as I was saying, be careful when you kill him. Um, because when you're walking on all this water that's on island, yeah, you're super slow. This is me with a walking cane. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. So if you're fighting the boss on this stuff... Um, don't. But let's kill this stupid seal and see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I doubt it, but maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, there's Crampy Boy. I'm not even going to be able to catch up to him. See, yeah, and this is the problem. They're going to have free reign over things, and uh, it's going to hurt for sure. Get over here, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you at least be nice to me once? Don't starve. He's gonna, this guy's going to get away with stuff for sure. Yeah, this guy's going to get away because I can't freaking run towards them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hit this guy at least. There we go. Hit them, so then he's on me. Nope, nothing. Fine, you suck. What about you? Nope, missed. Son of a gun. I have six magic freaking seals, everybody. <laughs> that's so worthless. Oh, that's so worthless. And I have five turbine blades, which, by the way, I probably should make. Oh, I don't need to make another one. I could make another one just for the heck of it, but I do have all the gears in the world still, don't I? Yes, indeed. Now, if you, uh, I'm pretty sure I told this many episodes ago, but you can repair your iron wind with gears, so you never have to worry again. But, 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 let's get on with what I was going to get on with. That being shoals, everybody. If you didn't know, these fishies that are uh, swimming around here are actually interactable. You can fish within them, just like you can fish in ponds. And it's honestly the exact same deal as ponds. They have 10 fish available to them. Every time you catch a fish, though, you have a 20% chance, I think it's 20%, to spawn a crocodile. Whatever the case, you might spawn a crocodile every time you fish something out, which is not great. Uh, these guys have what's called an inactive period and an active period that switches very often, but it's super fast, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And like I said, it's pretty much just ponds. Just think ponds on the water. But yeah, this is how you fish in shoals. Oh, and welcome to our final dry season, folks. The next thing I would like to talk about, because honestly, I don't really even use them as much as maybe I should, buoys. But to get buoys, you're going to need some more glass bottles. And to get more glass bottles, it's easy. Just go ahead and dig up some sandy piles, why don't you? Oh, always love to see shipwrecked in its natural tropical colors, for Pete's sake. So thank you, Surf and Turf, for your contribution. But here we go, folks. Buoys. Good stuff. These things, like I said, I, I don't really use them. Not really because they don't have their uses, just, I don't know, I, I just don't think they're necessarily needed. But, here's how buoys work. You put them down, and, you know, that's it. They throw off light, and they show up on map. <laughs> that's what they do. So, really, you know, the boy in Chimenea is always available to you. I just feel like, yeah, the buoy's not necessarily needed. But for things like this, you know, planting them near things, just to get a little bit of light, not bad. And honestly, I'm just throwing them down just for the heck of it today. And you know, it's kind of strange. I haven't used coffee all that much this playthrough. I mean, in when I first got it, yes. But ever since, not so much. So maybe, you know, as our final little hoorah for this series, might as well get caffeinated up. You know, I was thinking about doing something pretty awful. But I don't think I'm going to do it. Yet. Because here's the thing, everyone. Ballfin palaces can not only be hammered, they can be created and placed anywhere by the player. So, 
I think you might know what I was gonna do. But for now, let's just destroy their homes instead. Oh, it's the chase of the century, everybody. <laughs> Look at this, this dogfish and this swordfish. I just stumbled upon this. I was just sailing and here they go. What are they going to do when they get to the edge of the map? Because nothing's going to catch a dogfish. Nothing is catching a dogfish that isn't going to be a spear gun. This is insane. This is just never ending chase. It's still going for Pete's sake. Still going, still going, and apparently just gone. Okay, <laughs> have fun you two. Just never ending infinite chase. That is pretty freaking funny. You know what's not gonna be funny? This. And I honestly might die watching it happen. <laughs> I might die watching this happen. And there's, it's entirely possible nothing happens anyway. Nope, never mind. It definitely did happen. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Balfins. <laughs> You do not deserve what's about to happen to you whatsoever. Oh, if only any of these actual meatballs would be hitting these guys, maybe I would feel a little better than framing this whole thing is just needless murder. There we go. That's a, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Bye bye, Balfins. I feel so bad about that that I'm going to befriend the rest of them. If you didn't know, you can befriend Balfins, everybody. You just need fish that ain't jellyfish. And they work pretty much exactly like every follower ever, only, you know, they can't follow you on land and do anything. But still, Balfins are good. So good that you can just make more of them. And they shall be other protectors of my base, everybody. <laughs> I'm just going to put these guys here. They will be the defenders of the outskirts of our little sea base. Good stuff. Good stuff, folks. Ah, uh, yes, the blubber stuff. Is it bloody worth it? Um, no, not particularly, uh, not particularly, if I'm honest. So, the blubber suit, 240 insulation. Yeah, not, uh, not really gonna do it for you. You have much better options there. The other thing is called the windbreaker. The windbreaker is really, really dumb. <laughs> I mean, I know it has its purpose. Imagine there was strong wind, like it's hurricane season, and it's blowing this direction, right? You'd be able to walk in this direction, but you'd be moving slower, correct? Correct. The windbreaker makes it so strong winds have no effect on you whatsoever. Is that even worth it? Not in the slightest. Yeah, unfortunately, the, um, the blubber stuff is pretty bad. So, you know what? You're better off just eating it. And you know, that all reminds me of just one final thing we really just need to talk about, folks. Because I don't really have much else to talk about or do at this point in time. Hello, cramp eye. So, boom. Oh my gosh, you can even one-shot Krampuses. Oh, it's so good. The harpoon is so bloody. Pick up the... Oh, I was like, why can't I pick this up? It was slippery, so boom, 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 boom. Am I still not going to get it? Am I still? Where the heck are you going, you son of a gun? Get back here. Yeah, that's right. Come on. No, nothing. Not a son of a gun. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. Something is so broken in this world. How are you still a teen? It makes no sense whatsoever. But I'm sorry. You must die for the cause as well. Unfortunately, it was a teen, so it wasn't going to do anything for me. But I came here for the feathers, not for anything else. Volcano, it's been fun. Heck, even in this playthrough, I gave you the one true earring. But for my final sacrifice, I shall give you a doy doy feather. Thank you for your service. Hold up, planned this whole trip and then I didn't even bring what I needed to bring, so my bad, be right back. Ah, that's better. So, here's how we can use all of our bloody magic seals, if we choose to. First being, the Howling Conch. The second being, the Sail Stick. What the heck do these two things do? Well, they pretty much go together like peas and carrots. The Howling Conch, when played, produces strong winds. You see? That's strong winds for you in any season. Besides hurricane season, of course, where they are predominantly uh, active. The Sail Stick makes it so strong winds always are in the direction or pushing you in the direction that you are facing so let's wait for the next strong wind to show up here oh actually i can just do this duh let's play the holland couch again strong winds are blowing that way right but i want them to blow the other way have the sail stick and then it switches it switches every time no matter what direction you're going the uh strong winds will always be pushing you to give you a speed boost 
that's it. <laughs> that's what that is for. Does it have some uses? Yes. Is it worth it after what you have to do to get them? No. Uh, this is a new one. Unless they changed what the hollow conch does. How is it about the hail in dry season? And it is hailing as we... It's hurricane right now. Okay. Did they change what the howling conch does in dry season? Or have I just never noticed that it can produce a hurricane? That's kind of amazing. No, I looked it up. It's only supposed to produce strong winds as I knew it was supposed to. So, this is odd. <laughs> this world has been so broken, so broken, and I've had great fun in it, folks. But I think this is it for now. We had a good run, man. We had a good run. This is There's a lure plant on our island. Fine. We can talk about our stuff anyway. We had X marks the spot plots, everybody, that I think turned out quite nicely. Um, all around the base with certain resources, different resources, all that jazz. We even got honey for the first time. Good stuff. Oh, yes. I kind of liked how this turned out. It was just a fun little gimmick, a fun little theme of a base that I uh, decided to do very last minute and kind of worked out. Didn't finish it, per se, but that would have been really boring. <laughs> I would have just had to go right back to a coral reef, <clears throat> done exactly what I've been doing, and uh, it really wouldn't have been exciting. But, yes, the mussel sticks would be ready to harvest right now. Oh, hold up, hold up. Not yet. Let me do one thing that I said I was going to bloody do. So it's been some time, right? Go ahead and pick the mussel sticks. And, yes, the bed does actually go away, but don't worry. In several days, a new one does come back. So they are highly, highly renewable. Then, of course, I need one of you. Hopefully I have enough. I don't remember if I have enough. Don't think I have enough, do I? Nope, it's not that. It's actually just coral itself. Hold up. Then, of course, you make the muscle bed. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then you go ahead and hop right on back here. Then you can place the muscle bed right wherever you want it. And eventually, it will be ready to be harvested once again. Easy peasy. So you can just wait for it naturally or do it yourself. Yep, easy stuff. But there you go, everyone. As I stuff my face with honey, which isn't even a shipwreck-specific food, I think that is it for now. But don't fret. Just because this shipwreck series is over doesn't actually mean shipwrecked is going to be gone for a while. I think it is time to kind of return to some shipwrecked guides, per se. We only hit the big ones, the three bosses and the seasons, pretty much. There is a lot of... More to talk about, as we kind of just found out and teased today. That was the point of this episode. To tease a bunch of stuff that we will be talking about soon enough. I bet you didn't expect that one. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.